As anyone's growing their business, the most important thing that you need in order to be successful in business is sales. And there's a couple different um, strategies or approaches that you can take when trying to grow the sales in your business. And I wanna share a couple of the things that have been very valuable to us at Sky. The first is um, hiring someone that knows a lot about sales, a sales consultant or a sales trainer. The person that we used um, in starting up our practice was a guy named Scott Olson. He runs the Olson Group. And um, Scott was the first time that I had been able to think about sales in a very strategic and methodical way rather than kind of just approaching any deal or any opportunity um, and just going in and winging it, Scott really allowed us to sit down, think of a process, think about where we were going, what we wanted to do, um, and then try to optimize that a little bit. And it was in talking to um, Scott and some of the classes that I had gone to that I started to, he actually introduced me to another person whose name I am forgetting at the moment, but he mentioned for the first time the idea of push and pull sales tactics. Um, and the, the, as the name implies, a push tactic um, is you going out and pursuing the clients. A pull tactic is um, relying more on the marketing side, but it still is sales, but you're pulling clients toward you. So um, some push tactics would be cold calling, um, you know, scheduling meetings with people, uh, scheduling speaking engagements, um, pursuing, you know, knocking on doors, passing out flyers, outreach, going to the clients. Pull marketing tactics or pull sales tactics are creating more of a, um, creating more blogs and uh, creating content, creating videos like this. Um, developing your brand and creating an image that people are starting to um, notice and come to you because you're a respected source on a particular topic. So the, I think that there's a balance. I, don't, I think that any business needs to be able to adapt to a little bit of pull and a little bit of push marketing tactics. Um, but I think the most important thing is that uh, you come up with some sort of formula or what I call a recipe um, that you're going to do daily. So some combination of cold calls and um, push uh, sales tactics and then also be generating content and putting out um, information on the internet that's going to attract people to you. Um, and I would say in today's world, if you are in a business that is very specialized, the pull strategy is going to be exponentially more valuable for you because of how specialized everyone is getting and what you can do when you start leveraging the internet. If you um, work with, um, and I'm sitting here in this park, if your business installs um, play structures in city parks that, um, in cities that have between you know one and 1.2 million people, you could create content around that and the people all over the world that are in that little niche looking for that are going to ultimately start coming across you because you've just established your, your expertise in this given niche. So obviously that's a kind of an abstract uh, niche to be in, but the point is that um, if you focus on those, um, the particular service or pain point that you solve for people, um, then you will start getting more people when they're looking up how to do whatever it is that they need to do, and you happen to be the one to do that, um, you're going to be the person that they call and reach out to. And so our strategy at Sky um, is really to be the experts um, in oral surgery marketing and you know optimizing your practice uh, we do work with dentists also, but becoming known for the, the person that is going to be able to help an oral surgeon practice turn around or really start to grow and um, explode out of the, the stagnant state that they are in. So um, that's a, just my opinion and my take on the push and pull sales tactics. Hopefully that's something that you um, have considered or are thinking about. Um, because it, it is very important that you're doing both of them daily.